Hey, you remember driver's ed, don't you, and what they taught you? 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, right? Hunting out of a tree stand is not a lot different than that if you want to stay safe. Three points of contact always when going up into a tree stand, and that would mean 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 6 o'clock. Both hands and at least one of your feet. If you remain three points of contact on that ladder or those steps as you're going up, chances are you will not hurt yourself and you will not fall. The other thing we learned is you always, always, always 100% wear your seatbelt when driving. No different than climbing into a tree stand. You always, always wear a full body harness and use a lifeline when going up and down from your stand. The lifeline is only going to help me if I use it properly. I want to keep it taut and I want to make sure I keep that above me as I'm climbing. If it's above me as I'm climbing, if I should fall, it's going to catch me right there before I can make it very far away from the ladder. So I want to keep that going with me all the way up the stand. As for my three points of contact, it's real easy to get on a ladder rung or even a tree step and put both your feet on it because it's more comfortable that way. But that's a mistake. That's only giving you two points of contact because your one point of contact would be both of your feet and then right here with your hands. Instead, I'd like to keep one hand on a rung here, one hand on the side of the ladder, one foot in one rung and one up the other. And climb it just the way I would climb an extension ladder. One step at a time, bringing my lifeline with me and just being very careful all the way to the top. We're all trying to find more time, especially hunting time. One way to do it is to team that expensive hunting rifle of yours up with high quality factory ammunition. A good example is Hornady's Precision Hunter ammunition teamed with their ELDX bullet. Now they knew that tipped bullets were being deformed from high temperatures while flying at a high rate of speed. They did the research, they created the heat shield tip. It doesn't deform and it makes your rifle more accurate. Now, if you don't shoot long range shots, then don't really worry about it. But if you ever think that that white tail buck is gonna step out at five, six, seven hundred yards or beyond, and these new rifles can shoot that far, then you want to consider the ELDX bullet in the Precision Hunter lineup. Remember we were talking about saving time? Well, that's exactly what Precision Hunter ammunition will do for you. In the old days, like last week, or even 10 or 20 years ago, to get that kind of accuracy, you had to reload. Reloading, it takes a lot of time. Precision Hunter ammunition, dollar for dollar, it doesn't hardly cost any more than any other box of ammo out there. High quality ammo now, but yet you get great accuracy. And a bullet that expands, not only at close distances when it's traveling at 3,000 feet per second, but also out there way over the horizon when it may be only traveling 1,600 feet per second. Try Precision Hunter ammunition from Hornady, and I bet you're going to be amazed at how well your deer rifle shoots.